Hi again, this is Dr. Mahmoud Alode, and in this video, I will show you a simple example on how you can apply process capability. Uh, we have a process of, uh, uh, of putting some uh, ceramics on a building, and we need to know whether the process is capable of meeting the customer specifications or not. We have the upper specification defined by the customer to be 708, and that would be the thickness of the ceramic, a lower specification to be 6.92. And we calculated the standard deviation for the process to be 1.75. And now what we need to do, we have to calculate the process capability and see if the process potentially capable of meeting the customer uh, specifications or not. So what we need to do, we need to use this equation right here. The CP is equal to, is the, C, the CP is equal to the upper specification minus the lower specification divided by six sigma. So let's go ahead. Upper specification is right here minus the lower specification, this one here, divided by six sigma, six times the 1.75. And I would like to put some parentheses here to make sure that this will take the priority in uh, the multiplication first. All right, so that would give you a 1.52. So that's a good indication. It's more than one. So yep, the process potentially capable of meeting the specification. Now let's go ahead and do the actual process. After doing the first room, we have to, to go and check on the, uh, the CPK and see if we are actually meeting, capable of meeting the actual need of the customer or not. So the specification lower, upper specification 708, 692. The average thickness is 700. After we did the measurement, we found that the average to be 700. The standard deviation is 1.75. Now let's do calculate the upper, upper bound and lower bound, uh, upper, upper and uh, lower bounds. So the upper would be the upper specification limit. So I'm going to open the parentheses, upper specification limit minus the average, which is the 700 divided by three times the sigma, which is the standard deviation, this one. All right. Oh, that's excellent. So one of them is more than one. So let's see if, if the other one is more than one as well. The other one, the lower bound would be the average. 700, uh, open parenthesis actually first, minus the lower specification, divided by three times the standard deviation, the sigma. Ooh, nice. So both of them are the uh, more than one. So let's find the process capability index, the minimum between both of these values. Okay, so now the, the process is potentially capable. The process is actually capable. The process is centered. So yes, this is the target. This is what we need. That would, uh, the customer would be happy. Yes, we will be able to meet the customer needs. So let's take a look into, if we change the average to six, nine, seven, and see how that's gonna make the process incapable. The process potentially is capable. However, the actual work, we found the average of the thickness to be 697, which result in a process capability index to be 0.95. We took the minimum between these. So the average will have an impact on the, uh, on the, uh, the capability calculation and uh, capability analysis. So let's go back, let's change this to 700. How about if the standard deviation, if standard deviation is improved or increased to 225 and 225 is still, is still capable, even th these are more than one, but still capable. So it's not, it's not perfectly centered, but it's capable. So let's see if the, if the thickness in, improved by 705, and that would result into uh, into the lower in the specification, and it's shifted shifted to the right, shifted to the right, shifted closer to the 
to the upper specification. So 705 is closer to the 708. Uh, however, when we did six, uh, 695, that resulted in closer to the lower specification, or we did 698, I believe 698, that uh, uh, 692, that, oops. Uh, okay, 700 was the original. Now, if we cha change, this is the perfect situation. If we change that to 695, that would result into uh, uh, incapable process. And as you see, the lower bound now is the less than one, which, mean, which means the process is shifted to the left, which means is left shifted to the, uh, to the specification, low, lower specification. So the average and the standard deviation has impact. So if we say the, 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 the standard deviation uh, will, will change this to 700. If we did the standard deviation to be uh, three, that will result in an in, incapable process. And, uh, and this will uh, make the process not able to meet the customer needs. All right, that's it. There is another video that I will be making on the process capability. So st stay tuned on the next video that I will be uh, uh, recording now after this on a separate example.